even with proper installation, occasional issues can arise. Let's walk through the most common questions and how to resolve them. Don't worry, this is very common, especially with new systems or right after replacing filters. Here's what to check. Make sure the feed water valve and tank valve are both turned on. Double check that the faucet handle is fully open. If your system was just installed, wait two to three hours for the tank to fill. If no water flows after three hours, remove the yellow tubing from the tank valve. If water sprays out, your faucet may be clogged. Lastly, make sure all tubing is pushed in firmly and in the right ports. Leaks usually happen at tubing connections or filter housings. Here's how to fix them. Turn off both the feed water and tank valves right away. Check that the tubing is inserted all the way, at least 5 eighths of an inch. Remove and reinsert the tubing if needed. Make sure O-rings inside the housings are seated properly. Use Teflon tape if there's a leak at threaded fittings. And if something's cracked, reach out to customer support. We'll help you take care of it. Yes, especially right after installation or filter changes. This is just air trapped in the system and will clear up after a few tank refills. Run and flush the system two to three full cycles. Tilt the RO unit slightly to help trapped air escape. Alkaline filters may also introduce additional oxygen, which looks like micro bubbles. That can happen if your incoming water pressure is too low, under 45 PSI, worn out pre-filters or RO membrane, or the shutoff valve was installed incorrectly. To fix, use a pressure gauge. If it's low, a booster pump may help. Change filters if they're older than six to 12 months. Double check the shutoff valve is in the right position. Start by lifting the tank. If it feels light, it just needs more time to fill. Also check, tank pressure should be between seven to 10 PSI when empty. Use the valve underneath to adjust if needed. Make sure the tank valve is fully open. Still low? The RO membrane may need replacing or tubing could be clogged. You sure can. Just make sure to use the Express Water Refrigerator Connection Kit. If your fridge is over 10 feet away, consider a delivery pump for better flow. Don't use your fridge's dispenser until after your first few tank flushes. Carbon dust could clog the internal filter. Here's a simple schedule. Every six months, replace the sediment, GAC, ACB, alkaline, and DI filters. Every 12 months, replace the RO membrane and inline carbon filter. And lastly, every six to 12 months, replace the UV bulb. Even if your water tastes okay, the filters wear down over time and won't block contaminants as well. Absolutely, express water systems are made to grow with you. You can add alkaline or DI filters, a UV sterilizer, or even a second tank for larger households. Contact us for upgrade kits. Only our systems with the deionization DI filter are safe for fish and reef tanks. Be sure to test your water regularly to keep things balanced and safe for your aquatic friends. Some sounds are totally normal, like soft clicks or a little humming during refills. However, loud gurgling from the drain may mean the saddle is misaligned. Rattling may signal loose tubing or contact with cabinet walls. Tighten things up 
and adjust tubing to keep things quiet. Still have questions? We're here for you. Contact us for more info. Our team is always happy to help.